everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're jumping back into our brain dead bike. We've got it back from Tiny and I am blown away with the work that that man has done with this bike. It's gone above and beyond with the detail, filled every spare spot with unique drawings, uh, all in his, in his unique style, which is super cool. I haven't even had a chance to really look over this one and find all the little bits and pieces, but there are some real highlights. I'm gonna break it down with some of my favorite little drawings and doodles in this one, and then we are gonna clear coat it to protect all that, and then we'll put it together in another episode later on. But let's have a good look around this bike. highlights on here. One that I spotted just a second ago was this little snaky kind of fangy bloke up on the uh, seat post tube. Very, very cool. Um, I also noticed we've got left and right on the sides of our bike on the wrong sides, which is a really cool Brain Dead Brothers touch there, which is, which is bloody awesome. Obviously on the front we've got our mermaid and our little skull bishop and priest and skull queen on that side, very much within Tiny's art style. A um, couple of rude words on there as well, which is always a bit of fun. The fact that he's gone to the, that much effort to even do like the underside of the bike with unique stuff like our eight ball that matches up with our low rider style. Um, I could sit here for hours and point out all the little things that he's incorporated in all these little gaps, which is really outstanding work. And I'm really st I'm stoked. I'm over the moon with how this has come out. Not only has he done the frame, he's done both of our um, rim hoops as well. One with a skull design, with some um, different stuff in between there, all different types of skulls. And I really liked how he's used the spoke holes in the, in the rim to use that as like the eye holes for the skulls for a lot of the things. So it's really incorporated with what was already on the, the metal on the bike. The other flat, the other, um, the other hoop, in contrast, he's gone for like a bit more of a negative space look and used uh, a flower theme, flower power kind of theme along that one, which is very, very cool. Once again, using the, the spoke holes to make the center, center of the flowers for some of them, which is, um, once again, really, really innovative. Another nice detail that Tiny's incorporated in there is he's got Brain Dead Brothers, because that's his clothing company, which I'm wearing at the moment. Go and check them out if you um, uh, into some this kind of designs and that kind of thing. Uh, they have like all these cool one-off designs and it will send you out uh, bits of his artwork with the any t-shirts or merch that you buy as well, which is really, really cool. But he's incorporated JD, JDK media stuff in there as well. Hidden around is a bunch of those little three-point crowns, which is on the JDK media logo. So they're hidden around on the wheels, on the frame, in all these little spaces I really love those those touches as he's put on there. So we've got a clear coat to protect all this um, great artwork that's on here. I've got a color spec uh, acrylic clear coat uh, just picked up in a can. So we're gonna lay that down today. It is approaching winter here in Australia, so it has been a little bit chilly, but we've got some nice sunshine out there. I've had these inside with the heater, so then the actual metal's not too cold, so we should be fine to be able to lay it down uh, with the temperatures that we've got today. As per the instructions on the cam, we're gonna do about four or five light coats, especially because it is a little bit colder today. Four or five light coats to get a nice even finish, nice, nice even protectant on the frame and on the rims. We're not gonna do it inside, we're gonna head out to the clothesline, hang them up on there, get in the sunshine and, and uh, lay it down so that's all ready to go. Let's head outside.
come up with a little bit of a problem. The clear seems to be reacting weirdly with the paint pens that Tiny's used, and it's got this bit of a milky effect going on over the, the solid black areas. But I think as long as we keep it consistent, it should come out okay. Alright, look, I'm not going to lie to you, I am barely disappointed with the outcome of this. It's just really taken away the contrast in the artwork, which isn't ideal. It's not a not super bad, it's just greying things out a little bit. Um, but at least it will be protected. Now, if I could go back in time, I probably would have just run it without clear coat if I knew this was going to happen. None of our trials had this effect. So I am, yeah, like I said, I am a little bit disappointed. We'll see how it cures and see how it dries and hopefully we can, we can get like a little bit better, closer look at how it goes. Next episode, I am going to be attempting to lace up these wheels. So if you've got any tips for me, I'm going to practice on mine and then we're going to go through it together on a video. Uh, you got any tips for me about lacing up wheels? Let me know because it's my first time doing it. So I'd love some uh, insight before I jump into it as well. Uh, Make sure you jump online and check out Brain Dead Brothers. Um, buy some stuff off them. Check out Tiny and his art collection, all the cool stuff that he's uh, getting done. Follow us on Instagram, JDK Media, and like and subscribe for this video to keep in touch with all the projects that I'm doing. Ones that are great, ones that are sometimes fail. But it's all part of our learning process. I'll catch you guys next time.